Donald Trump's tax returns have been released. Now you might say taxes, who cares about taxes? Taxes are the most boring thing to deal with. The reason why this is a big deal is Donald Trump was the ex-president of the United States. Since 2019, there was a long legal battle in the courts so the Democrats could release Trump's tax records. Perhaps they were trying to accuse him of wrongdoing. His presidency was hugely polarizing. You either hated him or you loved him. An additional reason was, since 1980, all major party nominees had to disclose their tax returns. All of them did, except for President Trump, when he was supposed to, in 2016. This raised alarm bells back then, and it still does now. What are you hiding? Why are you unwilling? The foreign countries are paying you a lot. Russia's paying you a lot. China's paying you a lot. And your hotels and all your businesses all around the country, all around the world. And China's building a new road to a new ga a, a, a golf course you have overseas. So what's going on here? Why don't release your tax return or stop talking about corruption? President Honestly, Donald Trump's tax returns won't affect his supporter base at all. Trump supporters were going to vote for him even if his tax records had problems. So ultimately, the release of the tax records won't stop Donald Trump supporters from continuing to support him. Trump himself actually tried stopping his tax records from going public for years, claiming there was nothing in there. Trump has gone on record saying that if his tax records were disclosed, it would deepen US political divide. The House Ways and Means Committee has released Trump's tax reports. Thousands of pages of financial data is now available. If anyone wants to download Donald Trump's tax returns, you can find it on the Ways and Means Committee website. I'll leave a link in the description down below for anyone who's interested. Donald Trump's tax returns are in attachment E. They're a gigabyte large, so enjoy. Tax returns that have been released aren't all the data that the government has. Only tax documents related to Donald Trump, his trust, and seven companies have been released. There are still documents from over 400 companies related to Donald Trump that hasn't been released, which is insane. Just how many companies does one person need? In this table, we can see two things, how much money was made and how much tax he was paying. In terms of taxes, in 2015, Donald Trump paid $641,000 in taxes. In 2016, he paid $750 in taxes. In 2017, he also paid $750 in taxes. In 2018, he paid almost a million dollars in taxes. In 2019, Trump paid $133,000 in taxes. And in the year 2020, Trump paid zero dollars in taxes. That means he paid zero taxes in the final year of his presidency. Years of former President Trump's tax returns reveal he paid $750 in federal income tax in 2016 and 2017, and nothing in 2020. How is he in a position to pay so little some years, less than you and me? According to the tax documents, Donald Trump paid $750 in both 2016 and 2017. Now this is a weird coincidence. How do you get to a point where you're paying $750 in taxes for two consecutive years when you've lost differing amounts of money in 2016 and 2017? In 2020, mainstream media actually reported Trump had paid $750 in taxes. This revelation came two years before Trump's actual tax returns were released. Donald Trump had called the accusations fake news back then, but now we know he was lying. In terms of how much money Trump was making each year from 2015 till 2020, you can see Donald Trump lost money in four out of the six years where his tax returns were released. He lost tens of millions of dollars from 2015 till 2017 and gained money in 2018 and 2019 before losing four million dollars in the last year of his presidency in 2020. The tax documents also tell us Donald Trump had other bank accounts overseas in the UK, Ireland and also China. China, 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 China now, China, China, you know, China. I know this information is relevant because from 2018 onwards, the IRS apparently decided not to audit Donald Trump's tax returns and only did so in 2019 after the House Democrats tried to get Trump's tax records released. In fact, the IRS only did one audit in 2019. They didn't audit him like they were supposed to for US presidents during Trump's first two years in office. Trump previously said the reason why he didn't release his tax returns was because they were under audit. Now we know that wasn't true. Uh, it'll all be revealed. It's going to come out. But after the auditors, after the... It Besides, an IRS audit does not prevent Trump from releasing his tax returns, so it just proves he never wanted anyone to see his tax records. But why did the IRS choose not to do regular audits on Donald Trump's taxes? 
Turns out Donald Trump's tax returns are so complicated that the IRS had a memo saying it wasn't possible to get enough resources and people to check all the potential problems and red flags within Donald Trump's businesses because he had hundreds of them. Over 400 business entities is a large number. One professor from Syracuse University explained that Donald Trump started out in real estate and that created a level of complexity between valuations, revenues, losses and depreciation. So Trump's tax returns are a lot more complicated to understand compared to an average billionaire. What the tax returns does prove is Donald Trump paid very little in federal income taxes. So what does Donald Trump think of all this? Well, he said returns show how proudly successful he has been and how he's been able to use depreciation and various other tax deductions as an incentive for creating thousands of jobs and magnificent structures and enterprise. That's a mouthful. He basically admitted he used all the tricks in the book to reduce his taxes down to zero. What's more, Trump claimed a $5.4 million tax refund from the IRS that same year in 2020. And he's proud, no remorse. According to a New York Times article in the year 2020, Trump's International Hotels Management LLC paid almost $200,000 in taxes to China from 2013 to 2015. His tax returns confirmed he had a Chinese bank account until the year 2018. This makes Trump seem like a hypocrite because the ex-president once launched a smear campaign to portray the current US president, Joe Biden, as China's puppet. One of the ways Trump chose to do this was by accusing Joe Biden's deceased son, Hunter Biden, of colluding with China after the son did some business deals in China, while Biden was still working for the U.S. government. And I resent Are you talking about like Hunter? Hell. Are you talking about I'm Hunter? I'm talking about my son, Bo Biden. You're talking about I don't about know. Me. I don't know, Bo. I know Hunter. Yeah, Hunter, you know got thrown, Hunter got thrown out of the military. He was thrown out, dishonorably discharged. That's not true. It wasn't dishonorably. cocaine use. And he didn't have a job until you became vice president. Once you None became of that vice president, is true. he made a fortune in Ukraine, in China, in Moscow, that is simply and various not other places. True. He made my a son, fortune. Gentlemen, my son. And he didn't have a job. My son. In the 2020 presidential debate, Trump actually claimed he had closed his bank account in China before his first campaign. It does indicate that your company has a bank account in China. So how can voters know that you don't have any foreign conflicts of interest? I have many bank accounts, and they're all listed, and they're all over the place. I mean, I was a businessman doing business. The bank account you're referring to, which is everybody knows about it, it's listed. The bank account was in 2013. That's what it was. It was opened and it was closed in 2015, I believe. And then I decided because I was going to do, I was thinking about doing a deal in China like millions of other people. I was thinking about it and I decided I'm not going to do it. Didn't like it. I decided not to do it. Had an account open and I closed it. Okay. Excuse me. And then, unlike him, where he's vice president and he does business, I then decided to run for president after that. That was before. So I closed it before I even ran for president, let alone became president. This was a lie because Trump's tax records show he had a Chinese bank account, at least until the year 2018. Vice President Biden, you may respond. And then I do I, want to follow up on the election security. I have not taken a penny from any foreign source ever in my life. We learned that this president paid 50 times the tax in China, has a secret bank account with China, does business in China, and in fact is talking about me taking money. I have not taken a single penny from Donald Trump paid zero dollars to the IRS in 2020. So as long as he didn't lose money in China, Trump would have paid more taxes to China than he did for America. Trump has a tendency to pay more taxes to foreign countries instead of his home country, the US. In 2017, Trump's $750 in taxes to US tax authorities were dwarfed by the $15,000 he paid to the country of Panama, the $145,000 he paid to India's tax agency, and the $156,000 in taxes which he paid to the Philippines. Donald Trump didn't keep his promises to donate all of the $400,000 of salary he got from his presidency to charity. Donald Trump made a very clear promise about what he would do if he won with a $400,000 a year that a president is paid salary. If I'm elected president, I'm accepting no salary, okay? That's not a big deal for me, but... 
Trump's tax returns, 2020 was the sole year where Trump listed no donations to charity. So Trump kept the $400,000 salary to himself in 2020. We can't tell if Donald Trump donated his salary in 2016 or 2017 because his tax reports said he donated $1.1 million and $1.8 million respectively in those years. After the release of his tax returns, Donald Trump has vowed revenge on the Democrats for releasing his tax returns. He wrote that the great US divide was about to get worse and the radical Democrats have weaponized everything, but he reminded them this was a dangerous two-way street as if he would get back at them somehow. Information from Donald Trump's tax returns are nothing new. There have been many leaks over the years, which have been proven accurate. Many publications like the New York Times had received leaked documents detailing what Donald Trump's tax situation was like and had reported on them. The release of Donald Trump's tax returns in 2022 has only confirmed many of the accusations laid against him. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.